Well, after five years on the road full time in our RV, mm -hmm. we are done. Yeah. Hanging it up, calling it quits. I didn't think I'd get emotional. <laughs> wow. I, that threw me off too. It's thrown me off. You just said it out loud to everybody and it hit me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. I didn't think that was going to hit you quite like that. Ooh. You all right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. real <laughs> <laughs> it's not clickbait the uh the thumbnail is true the title is true we are we're calling it quits we've it's, had it's bittersweet it is yeah and there's a few reasons why um the first reason is family it's it's mostly family oriented yeah majority it, of the reason you know we got the new grandbaby she's one year old and you know, being in the military and traveling around with our daughter, um, she didn't get a chance to grow up with her grandparents, and that wasn't a, that wasn't a choice that we could make. I mean, I was a career soldier. Yeah, I had to go where the military we told to me move. to go, so I didn't. I mean, yeah, I could have made that choice, but life would have been a lot tougher. Yes, <laughs> financially and yes. retirement-wise, and have. we would never have been able to live this lifestyle without not, the military right retirement. No. So, uh, we we didn't really have a choice. We couldn't just stay close to her grandparents, but we feel like now we do have a choice. We we can yeah. we can choose to be to be closer. Yeah, we don't have to be away and we did debate a little bit on whether we were going to keep the rv and travel part-time yeah we wanted to do that financially it wasn't well feasible not for the quality of house we would like yeah apparently in in our old area where we're from the houses have gotten very expensive well, yeah, and the interest rates are high. And interest rates are high. But to keep it low to afford both, we'd have to get a piece of crap. And, and we didn't want to get a piece of crap. And slowly fix it the way we want it. We need something we can have now and not have to put a lot of money into, which requires us to initially put a bunch of money. Which means we have to sell the truck and RV yeah. to make that happen. Yeah. Um, so as much as we love... RVing. I love Harper more. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard decision. It is a hard decision, but we've we've gotten to do this for five years. I mean, we've gotten to see a lot of cool places. We've gotten to to meet a lot of great people. Um, well, I have no regrets. No, none. no regrets at all. And and I don't regret coming off the road now. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know logically we're making the right choice. Yeah, but it is tough because. You know that you have great friends out there. We love running into our friends and seeing That's them again. That's my big hang up is, I know I'm not gonna see certain people yeah. that I've been able to see a couple times a year anymore. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. But we're gonna get to spend a lot of time with Harper. We're gonna yes. get to see her grow up. We're yes. gonna get to be a, a, a daily part of her life. Yes. And that's important to us. It's more important to us than traveling full time. Yeah. She's not going to have a ton of family if we're not there. Yeah. Um, so you're probably wondering, well, what's going to happen to the Wayward Wags channel yeah. now? And really, it's kind of up to you. It is really, because we're going to try to keep this channel alive. And the reason that we, that we started with the name Wayward Wags and didn't include anything RV reference is so that when we did make this decision and did come off the road, we could continue on with YouTube. In some form. In some form. And and keep the channel going. Now, we, we still have a couple weeks to travel and we're several weeks ahead. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of stuff to share with you as far as getting the house, selling the RV, selling the truck, you know, uh, getting the house set up. All yeah. that stuff, because when we started this channel, we started from downsizing and picking out the rig and picking out the truck and getting rid of all of our stuff. Yeah. And we feel like we owe it to you 
to yeah. show the other end of and that. ourselves. Yeah, and yeah, we want to document it also. Which so. is harder, getting rid of the house and going to a rig or going from a rig back to a house? <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to be harder going off the road. I think it was easier going on the road than yeah. it was coming off the road, but that might not be the It'll case be interesting. for you. Uh, downsizing was, was tough, but getting it all back because we sold our house furnished, we have nothing. Yeah, we saved nothing. <laughs> we gotta buy a house and everything that goes in it. <laughs> yes. We are starting from zero. Yeah, which I kind of like because the times have changed in five years. Yeah. Our likes, our style. Yeah. So I don't necessarily feel I want what I had in my other house. Yeah. I'm ready for everything to be new, new chapter. Yeah. New stuff. And so we have probably enough content to get us through the calendar year yeah with all of that going on continuation of our travels and then getting into the house mm -hmm. uh, and then it just kind of it depends on you if you are going to continue watching then we will continue doing it and we'll just kind of see how it plays out yeah because we want to be able to take local outings mm -hmm. living on the border of georgia and alabama gives us two states to play in Three if you want to add Florida because we're only four hours from the panhandle. <laughs> yeah, we were not terribly far from a lot of different places and we are still going to do some, we can some still local do, travel. Yeah, local travel, outdoor exploring in our own areas. It just won't be in the RV. Not by RV. Yeah. No. Which, um, yeah, we've had, we've had so much fun and, and thank you all for coming along with us this whole time. Mm -hmm. And we just had a blast meeting all of you and we know this is a shock. <laughs> because we haven't told anybody that, other than immediate family. That has been the hardest part is not telling a soul except our parents and our daughter. Yeah. Are the only people who know this and they were all sworn to secrecy. Well, because we have actually been thinking about this for about a year. Since Harper was born, well, yeah, when we've we been left her, kind of kicking around the idea. We said we have to get a home base. And originally we did start trying to find places that we could give the us property, a little land yeah. and we could keep the rv and you know maybe travel in the in the summers, summers and stay in alabama in the winters but financially uh, we just did the math we're not going to put ourselves in debt or put ourselves no. in a financial crunch to make that happen yeah uh, so financially responsible decision was to sell the truck and rv and so next week a video will be coming out which is crazy talking about the truck and the rv up for sale yeah. and uh so we haven't shown it for those of you who have already seen it um if you're interested it's yeah it's already for sale but we haven't posted on any anything yet mm -hmm. uh we're going to give the opportunity to the viewers and first. it just came out of the factory yeah for maintenance so everything is Everything's fixed. Working order. Everything's good. There's nothing wrong with her right now. Yeah, she's she's perfect right now. Yeah. And the truck is in, in good shape. Has always been in good shape. So, um, so yeah, those videos will come out, and then um, hopefully we'll get it sold pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, we still will be at the RV Unplugged rally. We're going to be in mm -hmm. a cabin. Yes, <laughs> which is going to be weird. <laughs> uh, we won't be in the rig. <sighs> Even if the rig hasn't sold, we won't bring it down there. Uh, yeah. We just don't want to risk anything or anything happening. We'll just keep it up for sale up mm -hmm. there in Alabama. But um, yeah, leave us your comments. Let us know what you think. <laughs> if you're stunned. And we're still kind of in shock. Yeah. Because we, we already we, had planned through October, at yeah. least. Because we purchased, the, what was crazy is we found this house, we made an offer while we were in the hotel waiting for the maintenance of the rig to be done. Yeah, and if we wouldn't have found, we, we told ourselves, if we don't find the perfect house, because we'll just keep, then it's not meant to be keep traveling and we'll keep we traveling do. until we find it mm -hmm. and so this house came up and it's it perfect. was perfect it's ready to move in there's not a lot of work that needs to be done it's it's only three years old it's 15 minutes from our daughter it's uh in the price range that we want but we had to go up we had to go up a little bit but so that is what led us to the decision to come off the road yeah it, it just happened really quick yeah and so we can't move into it until August. Yeah, the family that we bought it from are a military family and- They'll be PCSing. They'll be they'll leaving, yeah, so they can't get out until August, at the end of August. Which I, initially I was bummed hearing that, but it gives us time to prepare. Yeah. 
which we need. Yeah. <laughs> And um, apparently I do. <laughs> yeah, we are. We I are more than I thought. Uh, and and there's lots of questions. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. There's stuff that we're probably forgetting, but yeah. um, we are still going to keep the channel at least through the end of the year. We are still going to uh, keep raising money for veteran organizations. Mm -hmm. um, we're making a, a donation in Kentucky yes. with our Wagsters, and um, we are going to tell them in person. This video is coming out the Monday uh, after that meetup. Yeah. Uh, so well, they'll we, already know. So they'll already know. Um, but now now you know. That's right. We wanted the gap to be short between everybody finding out. Yeah. <sighs> yeah right? Ooh, yeah. It's a lot. It's <laughs> emotional. I mean, when you do something like this for as long as we've done it and meet the people that we've met and been to the places that we've been, it is difficult to turn that off. It's difficult yeah, to walk away from. We're, we're technically, we're not in our hearts. We're not done traveling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the hard part. But we're still going to travel in other ways. Yes. And not I mean, as frequently. Hey, who knows? I mean, we're still young. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, according to you, you're still in your prime. I'm in my prime. So, <laughs> you know, when, when Harper gets older, we can take moves on, does different, different things with her life starts in, you know, her adult life or whatever. Maybe we'll get back out of the road. I would like to think that that when grandparents aren't cool to have around anymore yeah. <laughs> and you don't yeah. really care that they're there all the time. Yeah. Who knows, maybe we will jump into a travel trailer. Yeah. And and take some do some kick trips. around weekends or something. Yeah. You know. So, I don't know what the future is going to look like. You'll have to just stay tuned. We'll we'll keep it going for as long as you keep watching. Yeah, you know about <laughs> as much as we do at this point, honestly. Yeah, but we are super excited. This is a new chapter in our life. Um, it's crazy because the house we bought is like oh my God. four miles from the house that we left when we hit the road. That That is mind-blowing. Yeah. That I didn't... I heard the town is grown because it is a small town. When it we is. left, it was a small town. And our daughter said it's grown in five years. Yeah. But it's still small town living. So I was surprised to hear new homes were built yeah. a little bit further behind our neighborhood. But it puts us right where we need to be. We're about, you know, 20 minutes from town. town. And then we're about 15 minutes from where Lauren is, is Lauren and Harper are going to live. We're really close to the base. Yeah. So we, so we and that's go to the where commissary. we get most of our care and health care anyway. Stuff. Yeah. So. And honestly, I've had some medical issues that I need to, to get we, dealt with. We do. We have. And I've been putting them off because we've been on the road and. You have a surgery. Yeah, that I need that to have needs done. to ha happen. So that stuff is going to be good to get that stuff knocked out. Yeah, and and I love that it's back. I'm not thrilled to be going to Alabama. That's not where I saw myself ever <laughs> putting roots down again in Alabama. But daughter's never going to leave, so that's where yeah. we got to go. But we're not going to an unfamiliar place, which is comforting for me. Yeah. We have our military friends, our motorcycle friends. We'll be back with our association. Yeah. So it feels like we're we're jumping back in. Yeah. With kind of where we a, left off. A community and a family. Yeah. We're not out there flapping in some strange place. Got to make all new friends. And we were definitely very ingrained in the veteran community in that area. So I know all those people. We can jump right, right back, back in. in. We can start volunteering and helping. And, yeah. And whatever money we still raise through Wayward Wags, uh, we will still contribute to the veteran yes. community. And um, yeah, man, that's it. We're, we don't want to keep this too long, but and I want to keep it pretty raw, unedited. I don't want it to, to be, you know super crazy but leave us your comments let us know what you think about our decision <laughs> are we crazy have we lost it <sighs> or would you no. do the same thing I, I think most people will say we're doing the right thing we're following our yeah and our you heart. can always come and visit us yes. we don't have any land for our rv spot no. but you can come visit but us we there's a, an rv park right, right up the road yes there is an rv park just minutes from it yeah. and we bought a four bedroom house but we have apparently yeah, plenty got, of room we got room <laughs> so come over have fun and um anything else you'll want to come visit because we're gonna have lots of things in our backyard yeah it's gonna be cool it's gonna be an entertainer's backyard it's gonna be lots of fun if you like axe throwing you're gonna want to come <laughs> stay in our house <laughs> and cornhole. just say cornhole and axe throwing are and the karaoke the indoors karaoke yeah it's gonna be a fun house it's gonna be fun. just saying yeah <laughs> we're gonna have lots of fun with harper and if you're in the area 
stop by and that's right hit us up everyone's welcome what else that's it oh, Lord, that's all i can handle all right today. let's cut it off okay. leslie's emotionally <laughs> spent <laughs> Uh, but hey, uh, another thing that we're going to keep doing is we're going to keep honoring fallen heroes at the yes. end of each video. So stick around. We're going to do that right now. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description. I was getting ready to say while we're out on the road, but we're not going to be out on the road anymore. Much longer. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.